In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 4 from experience 4. Assume that 12 jurors are randomly selected from a population in which 83% of the people are Mexican Americans. Refer to the probability distribution table below and find the indicated probabilities. Find the probability of exactly 8 Mexican Americans among 12 jurors. Round your answer to 4 decimal places. You can see that here x is the number of Mexican Americans among the 12 jurors. So if we go down to where x is 8, we find the probability of exactly 8 Mexican Americans right beside it. So the answer is 0 0.0931. Next, find the probability of 8 or fewer Mexican Americans among 12 jurors. 8 or fewer, it's 8, uh, x is less than or equal to 8, corresponds to x being 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5, or 6, or 7, or 8. Now if you remember the rules for probability, the probability of x being a or b, it's the probability of x being a plus the probability of x being b. So we find the individual probabilities as the numbers in the right column of the table, and we just add those up for x being 0 through 8. So the uh, first one we have 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, and then starting with x being 4, we have 0 0.0002, and then adding to that 0 0.0013, and then adding to that 0 0.0073, and then adding to that 0 0.0305, and finally adding the probability that x is 8, 0 0.0931. So adding up those first eight numbers in the right column, uh, we get 1, 3, 2, 4. So does 8 Mexican Americans among 12 jurors suggest that the selection process discriminates against Mexican Americans? Since the probability of this happening is not small, in other words less than 5%, uh, then we would not consider it unusual um, that something like this would happen. Since it's not unusual, then it's perfectly likely that this could happen through random selection. So we would not have evidence that this discrimination is going on. So we would say no.